Good morning, guys. It's about 6.30. It's very cold. Um, I think it's around freezing. Um, I am sitting here eating a Pop-Tart and having some coffee. Uh, didn't lose my food to the bear last night. Um, we are thinking about pushing all the way to the NOC, which is the Nantahala Outdoor Center. Um, they have cabins and stuff there. May take a Nero there tonight since I have to pick up a few things that um, I'm, I'm missing. Um, anyway, that's 16 miles and it's going to be hardcore terrain, so I'm not sure it's going to happen, but may give it a try. Okay, we're moving along. Uh, getting ready to get started. I'm just uh, waiting for Morgan to finish her breakfast. Um, I'm too chicken to take my puffy off yet. It's really cold, but uh, I'm sure it won't take long. It's a beautiful morning, even if it is cold. So Morgan and I call these stump bears, and they are everywhere. Okay, I don't really know what gap this is, but it's really pretty. Look that tree. And somebody even, you know, left their boots for us. That was very considerate. So we stopped at this little rustic shelter. Which is a uh, pretty cool little, little spot though. Very basic, but it's pretty neat because it, the privy is actually uh, right down the hill. You can barely, barely see it through the trees. And then it also has a piped water source. I would recommend getting your water from up here instead of down there just because but anyway we're both freezing now that we've stopped sweat's drying so we're gonna get back on the trail in just a little bit got several climbs coming up first view of the day so you're headed down into Teleco Gap and then I think we have a really steep climb of about three miles up to the shelter for tonight. So but we're gonna stop down here at the bottom and have some lunch and and then uh, continue on. Okay, so you also have to be aware of magnolia tree bears. It's a thing. Look it up. Okay, actually it's not, but yeah, you always gotta look under the magnolia trees. And life goes on. It's growing right out of the stump. Okay, onward. So on our climb up, which is a good solid mile, uh, we've crossed this like section of a, just dead trees. It's crazy. And we we're just like contemplating what is going on. It's beetle or what? You want to give me Get up here. That is Western Tower. Not sure I'm going up this one. One about Albert Mountain one. It's pretty view. Hoping it's downhill now to the shelter. <laughs> I like your song better too. 
So we made it to Wesser Bald Shelter. It is a little rustic to say the least, um, but hopefully it will protect us from the rain tonight. Um, it's going to be pretty chilly. The wind's blowing down into it and there are gaps between the boards underneath, so it's going to be a chilly night. But there's a privy right down there. Hopefully, um, there's it's only uh, six miles into the NOC tour, so definitely looking forward to that. We've been uh, about 12 miles today. Looks like there are a couple of uh, bear cables that are functional. I'll look here. Yeah. Awesome. Those look like they work. Um, which would save me from having to hang a bear bag tonight, which I really don't want to do. Guys, so I'm getting ready to call it. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm more cold than anything. I think it's just from all the hiking and getting sweaty. And so I've changed into my bed clothes and I'm getting ready to get in my sleeping bag and then just hang out and listen to everybody talk. Um, so, uh, a little over 11 miles a day, not as much, um, and another six something into the knock. Uh, I'm planning on trying to get up about five and have coffee because I'm really wanting to get into the knock early. So, but we'll see how that happens because when it's cold, I don't want to get up. Anyway, night for tonight and, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's like 4.30 and I'm getting in my sleeping bag. And I have tripped 55 times now on the Appalachian Trail. And I've fallen three times. Good morning, guys. It's about 7 o'clock. And uh, every, a lot of people still asleep, so I'm being real quiet. Um, Morgan and I are getting ready to... Uh, head out towards the NOC. Uh, both of us are already packed up and ready to go. Um, I gotta stop and get water on the way, but got a little rain last night. Uh, it's pretty cold. Not as cold as the night before, though. So, um, anyway, getting ready to go. So, this is what we're looking at today versus yesterday. It's very cloudy, it's windy, it's cold. And it is drizzling. So, head, really happy to be headed to the NOC to take uh, a half day. Is that my new trail mm. So, I guess we've been blessed. This is our first time kind of being sucked in. We are walking a ridge line, as you can see over there on the other side. Okay, so it is drizzling, it is wet, the rocks are slippery, and this is the trail. And yeah. Okay, this is no fun. I don't know if we're supposed to like leap off this or what. No rain, no pain, no main, right? <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to like, you know, share with with everyone 
Um, this is our bunks for the night, um, which we had to walk like a mile uphill. We do have heat and supposedly there is Wi-Fi. We're still not too, and there's a train going by. You can probably hear it. <laughs> so yeah, not the most comfortable and luxurious, but hey, we are dry and warm. So we made it down into the Nantahala Outdoor Center, or the Knock, as um, most hikers call it. Um, we were just taking a Nero, which is basically a half day and spending the night, and then we'll be leaving in the morning. Um, it, the weather's nasty and cold, and it's raining, and it's going to be raining for a couple days. So it's going to be a tough couple days coming up, but we're at least warm and dry tonight, even though our accommodations aren't really the best. But anyway, there was a bathroom, a hot shower, and a warm room, and that's really all you need.